Welcome back to the workshop of Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and uh, we're going to be showing you today um, a video um, of uh, analyzing uh, a, sp a spinet piano that uh, we just um, got from a nursing home and um, we're going to be uh, showing you some things that can be done to improve this instrument. Uh, this piano functions as an instrument. Uh, you know, all the keys play. There's no sticking keys. Um, you know, but uh, there, but there, but uh, as many pianos out there, there are things that can be done to improve on it. Uh, you know, this is piano. I haven't looked up the age of it, but this is probably from the maybe the early '70s, uh, late '60s. Um, uh, so it's you know it's uh, several decades old, and um, so it it has some things that are worn on it, and uh, some things that we can do to improve it. Um, you know, as I play the piano, I can I can tell that all the notes work, but um, there's definitely some um, some maybe some parts replacement, felt replacement, uh, some definitely some regulation work that can be done to improve it. So we're going to show you step by step um, what uh, what we can do to this piano to to spruce it up, bring a little bit more life to it, and make it a better better instrument than it is right now. Even though it's older, it still certainly has uh, some life left in it, some music left in it. So um, our next step is going to we're going to go through it and analyze it and show you some of the things that uh, that we can see that need to be done. Uh, and then in future videos, we'll show you. Um, you know how to do some of those things. Um, we have other videos that that will show some of those th steps, but um, we're going to kind of walk you through the through the process step by step. So here we've got uh, part of the piano disassembled. We've taken the the uh, music desk off and the f key cover and um, the the knee board the board off that covers up all the the pedal trap work and so forth so we can see inside it um, you know and usually one of the first things we can do um, usually if a piano hasn't been worked on for a while or um, hasn't been opened up and had work done on the inside for a while that um, it usually needs cleaning and so um, we can kind of see I don't know if you can see down there between the underneath the keys but um, there's a lot of a lot of dust and dirt um, down underneath uh, by the pedals and so forth um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of dust and dirt and so forth so that that gets in there and, and um, so what we'll do is we'll take all the keys out um, and vacuum it out um, in general what we'll do is take the action out and I'll show you how to take an, the action out of a spinet piano uh, in another video but um, we'll take the action out um, so sometimes what we'll do with the action is just take it outside and use a compressor with compressed air to blow all the dust out of it. Um, and so that's a good way to clean the clean the action. Uh, we've got another video that shows how to clean the inside of a of a upright piano. Uh, sometimes you'll find things in here, like here we found a a, a dice uh, fell down in there somehow in, inside of there. So I'll throw that in the garbage. Um, there's a coin down here underneath the underneath the um, the balance rail. I don't know if that's you was put there as a shim or, or what. But as I pull that out, I'll have to see if um, if that uh, coin. But sometimes you'll find money down inside a piano, and uh, you know, so it gives you a few extra cents in your pocket, anyways, when you're doing that. Um, now, one thing that I check here is uh, because this these have rubber lifter grommets. Uh, these are the square rubber lifter grommets. I check and I check to see. Um, just kind of press on the keys like this to see if there's any clicking noises. This one doesn't. So, um, but what happens oftentimes is these uh, these rubber grommets get hard and dried out, and um, they need replaced. So it could be that um, you know these have been replaced sometime uh, in the recent uh, in recent years that uh, they don't click. But usually a piano of this age. Uh, if it's got the original grommets, they're going to be dried out and, and make clicking noises. But um, this one doesn't, so that's something we don't have to do. Uh, the other thing we'll check is the the condition of the under key felts, the the felts, the balance rail felts here, the front rail felts here, and then the back rail cloth. Those actually look like they've had um, some uh, some things done to them, so the those are in pretty good shape. Um, they probably were were replaced at some point in time. The key bushings um, probably are kind of close to to um, to needing to be replaced. So we could uh, 
we certainly could replace those to to make a more solid feel uh, to the keys. Um, and we show again in another one of our videos how to how to replace key bushings. But there's bushings here at the um, here. I'll pull a key over here for you up close so you can see um, the uh, the bushing. This red felt uh, that lines the balance rail um, pinhole. Uh, that that's one bushing. So those are those are somewhat worn. Another bushing is underneath uh, at the bottom of the key um, that sits on the front rail. So those. Um, those feel like uh, they they could use to be replaced, um, so that's something we may do uh, to this piano. Oh, yeah. The biggest thing is, um, you know, just some regulation work um, uh, that I could see. So it's uh, you know the pedal uh, as I push down on the pedal on the damper pedal, um, you know, and again this is just a small small adjustment that uh, needs to be done, but adjust the pedal the damper pedal timing. Uh, I have to push down quite a ways before it starts to lift on the dampers, almost all the way down. So, so that's a small adjustment. Um, one of the biggest things that I noticed is um, there's really no aftertouch on a lot of these keys, or very little. Okay, so if I push the key down all the way, you can see it doesn't fall back. Okay, what it should do, and some of these do, um, you can see that if you if I push down and really slowly, you can see that it falls back a little bit okay and now that one doesn't that one I really can't get much after touch okay we've got another oh that one that one um, does fall back but it's there's really not much movement to the key after um, after it achieves let off okay let off is when the, the hammer moves forward and then falls back when you're pressing the key down really slowly so that's probably the biggest culprit of of the um, the weak touch that this piano has. We also check the um, the let off distance, um, which on this one it looks like it's probably about a quarter inch, maybe, which is um, you know quite a bit more than it should be. It should be about an eighth of an inch uh, between probably three sixteenths of an inch. Um, let me sorry. Uh, Three thirty seconds uh, to an eighth inch on a spinet or console piano. So uh, this one that that certainly is um, affecting the. And then there's there's quite a bit of lost motion too. Okay, if um, if we can get you closer here to to take a look at the the back checks um, as I push down a key. Okay, you can see that that wiggle. Okay, and that's the amount of wiggle that it, if you can see that, uh, this this one right here is what you're looking at. Um, if you watch that wiggle before the hammer starts to move. Okay, and that's what you watch what you watch for when you're looking to see, you know, how much lost motion there is. That, sh there, that should just, you know, it doesn't look like much movement, but that's, um, that's a, that can make a big, pretty significant uh, difference in the feel of the piano when it, when the back check is moving that much before uh, before the hammer starts moving, because so that's called lost motion, and we show you in another video how to adjust that. Um, so you know those those two things: the lost the lost motion, uh, three things actually: the lost motion, the uh, the let off distance, and then the after touch or the key dip. Uh, you know the amount of after touch that you have on a key. Uh, are really going to probably make the biggest difference um, on this piano. You know, besides the cleaning it and um, other other than that, it's it's pretty in good in pretty good condition. And again, I pointed out some things you could do. And and then once we get the action out, uh, maybe in another video we'll show you some of the other things to watch for and um, in the action and and maybe things that could be replaced to um, to make it function better. Um, but uh, these these are some things that uh, you know we're looking for, and, and uh, you know in other videos we're gonna uh, again show you show you how to do some of those repairs. The other well, one other thing I did want to mention, um, big thing that I noticed on this piano that we're gonna be uh, fixing, are the the front legs. Okay, these are these are really weak. Okay, they can be they just 
you can see that they move from the other ones about the same so that the, those uh, those we're going to have to have to repair um, the front legs um, and so we'll have a video dedicated to showing how to repair those um, so that you can see how to do that so feel free to visit our website it's howardpianoindustries.com